So you may wonder why I want you so bad on my Patreon. Hmm? You see, the weather is getting hotter, and it awakens something in me. Creativity. There are things I want to say, things I want to do, but they require a bit more privacy. And my Patreon is a place I can be myself. Unbound, unrestricted, unlimited, from softly spoken sleep audios to hot, heavy, energetic experiences. Plus, I get to know you, what you want, what you need, and there's so much more of me I want to show you. <laughs> So I'm going to leave a link in the description. Give it a click and come over. I'd love to let you in. <laughs>got some sweet potatoes, oh, sweet potato fries and chili sauce, mm. got some burgers, lettuce, cheese, tomato, 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 <laughs> that's my glycogen refill sorted, mm. no baby, what will they make you, oh, only answer your texts, why you want to answer your texts? Oh, think, girl, think. What was she like? Fuck, she's going to be so angry. <laughs> I'm going to be in so much trouble, think. Hey, sweetie. For the while, yeah? You're early. Oh, no, no. I was just making something to eat and I was wondering what you wanted. Because you weren't answering your texts, and I, I'm a bit clueless. You, you what? You smashed your phone screen. How? Oh my god. Can I, can I have a look at that? Oh, holy fuck. Baby, you really did a number on that. Oh my god, that is... That's banjaxed. <laughs> But look, it's just a phone screen. We get it fixed. It's not much. Like, I mean, we get it fixed, okay? Uh, what else happened? Okay. Look, baby, I said it before. He's an asshole. Just don't take any notice of him. It's 2020. Like, any boss worth his salt knows that you catch more bees with honey. So he shouldn't be treating his employees like that. He's just an asshole. You're going to have to learn to close the door and forget about him because otherwise you're going to come home and you're going to be in a terrible mood for the night and you'll get a bad sleep and have a bad morning the next morning and all that. So, yeah, he's just not worth it. Okay? You got a what? A punch or two? Oh my God, you're after a day from hell, aren't you? Uh, was it a struggle? Were the nuts hard to break? My kettlebells. Oh my god, baby, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I, I thought I took them out. Yeah, I, I know, you asked me. I, I actually just uh, slipped my mind. I, I thought I took them out. But, uh, baby, I just forgot, that's all. It slipped my mind. It's, it's just, it was an honest mistake. Of course I care. Don't be like that. Oh, yeah, of course I know they're heavy. Baby, of course I know that. I wouldn't do that. I didn't mean it. Why, why are you so worked up? Okay, look, baby. I, I didn't mean it. I, I promise it's just a stupid thing to do. Okay, look, let's let's not get too heated here. All right, you've had a really bad day. I know, 
I know, but there's no point in putting out fire with gasoline. It's just not going to work. Look, we can either keep this up and waste all of this energy, or we can. Come here. Come here. Mm. <laughs> you know, I love it when you get a little fiery. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I do. It's hot. Really hot. <laughs> You know, I just had a workout before you came home, and I've got all this testosterone floating around in my system, and I feel really good. I want you to feel good too. Oh, a lot of top run or refreshing. I'm sorry too. But let's not get too soft there, all right? Soft is not good in situations like this. <laughs> mm. I've got an idea. Why don't you come upstairs with me so I can ease all of that tension away? You can lay on your tummy and feel my strong hands in your back. My whispers in your ear. And after I help you to relax. Maybe we can get a little more creative. And help each other to blow off some more steam. What do you think of that? Oh yeah? <laughs> Well, take my hand and come upstairs. Come on, come upstairs with me. Hmm? Mm. I'm lay in the lab for me. That's it. Lay in your tummy for me. <laughs> Good girl. Get nice and comfortable. Some of this oil, put it on my hands. And rub it into your muscles. Those tense muscles. So I can loosen you out. Get rid of all those pockets of tension and stress. Make you forget about your bad day. Uh, yeah. Feel my oily hands glide around your back nice and slowly. With a very slight tickling sensation. My hands almost hovering. Touching your skin ever so slightly at the same time. Oh, does that feel good? Hmm.
That's a baby. That's it. Mm, he's into it. Mm. He's into it. As my hands massage, feel your body sink into the bed. No need for any control. Mm, yeah. Just surrender to my touch. Surrender to the feeling. The sensation. sounds to my voice mm -hmm. yeah. my fingertips circling and my palms applying a little pressure mm -hmm. Good girl. Mm. Feel all of that frustration, tension, leave your body. Feel it melt away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, mm, yeah. Mm. My left hand on your shoulder. My right hand caressing down your spine. Spreading the oil around. All over your soft skin. Yeah. Mm. And your breathing becoming deeper, slowing down a little. In and out while you feel my touch. Hmm. And every time you breathe in, you feel it cleanse you, revitalize you and relax you. As my hands slide out. Helping you fall deeper and deeper into this moment. Where everything is okay. Where everything is okay. My hand applying a little pressure to your lower back. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Mm. 
because I know that you can harbor a lot of tension there. Massaging firmly but softly, deeply, soothing, relaxing and soft. joy of being relaxed. No problems, no worries or anxieties. Just peace and quiet. And my fingertips circulating again. Hmm. Feel good. Hmm? <laughs> mm. Mm, I can feel it. I can feel your body. How soft it is now. But remember what I said about being too soft? <laughs> not good in some situations. <laughs> so why don't you turn around? Hmm? Please. Please, sugar. Huh? Mm, yeah, turn around for me. There you are. Oh, come here. 